Hi, the ho everyone. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to Destiny 2. You, uh, you like the new armor? I recently grinded out the season pass, dude. What can I say? My, my wallet grinded out the, the season pass. Listen, I'm not proud of it, but I'm just, um, keeping the lights on over at Bungie, all right? You're all welcome. But we have a catastrophe on our hands, and we'll get into that in a second. But in the meantime, I don't know if Ace of Spades is still good, but I love the gun. So that's what we're going to be messing around with today, because obviously if you watch my most recent Destiny video, Trials of Osiris is coming back. Which means ya boy here has to stop being a scrub, dust off the old D2 PvP, and get ready to go flawless. So with that, let us embark on our journey. I actually wanted to make this video though, because I wanted to talk about some stuff. A classic commentary video. I debated making a vlog, but I just I wasn't really feeling it. If you've been in the loop with the channel and myself the past week, I've been sick, but started to feel better at the end of last week. However, Saturday night, everything got worse. Much worse. Oh my goodness, look at you. Anyway, Saturday night wasn't looking so good. Started with like a little bit of a headache. I was like, ah, I'll shake it off. Maybe try and sleep on it. Went to sleep. Hour later, I wake up in just complete sweats, nauseous. Everything is just terrible, essentially. Just having hot flashes, shakes, chills, nausea. I won't get into all the details. Thought it might potentially be food poisoning, but some of the symptoms didn't check out. As well as the flu, but again, some of the symptoms didn't check out. Saturday night was, well, it was just rough. Let's just say that. I can't believe I headshot that dude. So eventually, after a very long night, I'm able to get to sleep, actually stay asleep, Wake up the next day, Sunday, feeling better. I'm like, all right, that was weird, but it's past. Try and get up. Thankfully, I get the podcast up, and uh, about the same time, I render that out. Uh, I didn't get that kill, and the other guy didn't die. This is just, this is terrible news. But I will get that kill. In fact, I'm not even. I'm just. I'm not even gonna touch him. I let him burn out. Yeah, the painful way. So yeah, after about an hour, barely getting that video up. Everything, literally almost every symptom just returns out of nowhere again. And the thing about Saturday night too is it was very instant. Like a thunderclap. Like it wasn't there and then it was. It was just like a storm and it was miserable. So I was like, okay, this sucks. But I was like, all right, I'll... Took a really long hot shower. Got some steam going. Then laid around. Tried to lay in bed. Just lie down. Hydrate. I'm like, all right, maybe we'll just... It'll pass. It wasn't. It was still just getting worse. So I was like, all right, well... You know what? I'm over it. I need to figure out how to make this better. So I went to urgent care. Long story short, we're not entirely sure what the issue is, but they gave me some sort of a butt. They gave me a butt shot. I got to tell you, I've never had a shot in my butt. Not that great. Not that great. The initial, you know, stick, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Not, not, not terrible. Whatever. I can do shots. But then uh, I guess he had trouble, like, getting it all in. I, I don't know the specifics. I'm trying to get my moment. I'm gonna burn. Donate. Screw your thorn. Yeah, it uh, it hurt a good bit, and then I tried to sit down. It was like, yeah. So anyway, they gave me this anti-inflammatory thing because they think it might have been some crazy migraine episode, which is odd because I've I have very occasional migraines, but not a lot. You know, it's not something I'm known for, and. It didn't feel like a migraine, necessarily. But, so far, the shot helped, and, um, so I'm- I'm hoping that's what it is, because when it comes to sickness, I don't care what I have. The thing that worries me is that I just don't know what I have. It's the question marks, you know? Because, if I know what it is, fine, I know what to do, or how to combat it, or what to do to minimize, blah 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 blah, how to get better. That's all I care about, but when- when it's unknowns, God only knows what it is. It's hard trying to talk about all this though and play. I'll I'll give you that much. But hey, that's just preparing me for the trials of Osiris. I'll be with my boys. I'll, granted, we will be a little more concentrated. But oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh shoot him! Oh you killed him! Let's go. So there's just this thing I wanted to specifically talk about though, while I wasn't feeling great. Is well, one I had anxiety just because it came out of nowhere and it came up even the next day after I thought I was better. So then I'm just like, all right, well, what if I just go to sleep and it all just, I wake up again with all the symptoms again. Like, is it just, is, it, is this my life? But more so, what I do is I catastrophize. I'm not sure if I'm alone here, but when I'm sick, it's like 8 million times worse. Now, if you're not familiar with catastrophizing, essentially, well, you, uh, it's like going down a rabbit hole, right? Something happens. And you immediately start thinking worst cases, whether it is something that's actually happening. 
and you catastrophize what's happening to you currently, or you catastrophize about current or future events rather. I catastrophize about future stuff. When something's happening, it's like that's it. The whole world's dying. Also, this guy saw me popped hammers. And he's like, nope. But you're not getting away. Yes, you are. All right, sick, dude. What a great super pop. This is just this is lovely. This is fan. This is fan. Throw it. Okay, three, that's not bad. I'll take that. Everything looks like a nail when you use a hammer. Check this out, ready? I'm gonna predict the headshot height, which is right about here. And as soon as, oh, come here. Come here. Come here, where are ya? Ah, too early. Don't melee me, you, wasn't worth it. Oh God, I did that, but I'm still coughing, dude. I still have all my congestion too, my life sucks. I have a compromised immune system. I don't know what it is, man. Sometimes I can be healthy, but once I'm sick, it's like I'm in the throes of it for months. It's like I'm never just fully healthy for a really long time, and it sucks, man. I'm going to be honest, but whatever. It is what it is. Anyway, it makes me appreciate more when I'm healthy, you know? I don't know why I rush that. I straight up just start thinking like, all right, I'm sick, but what if I never get better? Is this a life I want to live? And then honestly, it's really depressing thoughts I start to have. And then I think about people who are more sick and have all those innocences. I'm like, how do those people do it? How are they that strong? I can't be that strong. And then it's just, it's never ending. So one, I wanted to ask, does anyone else do this? I talked to my fiance, she doesn't. She thought it was bizarre. And that's when I was like, oh wait, what? This isn't, <laughs> this isn't a thing everyone does when they're sick. Now granted, I'll catastrophize sometimes, even when I'm healthy. Uh, it's just kind of part of my anxiety and my depression, which is why sometimes it can exacerbate it. Or like, for instance, with my YouTube, February was the worst month I've had on YouTube in the past three years. Now, add that with my anxiety. That doesn't, it's, that's why YouTube can be tough on me sometimes. Is because then it's just like, oh my gosh, this is it. All right, well, we're never, this, this is just how it is. And then it's just going to keep declining. And then blah, blah, blah. And people are like, oh, don't think like that. Yeah, if only it were that simple, right? People with anxiety know what I mean. Where somebody's like, oh, well, just don't think that or don't. But yeah, if only it were so simple, right? Same with depression. Oh, just don't be sad, forehead. <laughs> oh, trust me. Trust me, I'd love to. I would love nothing more. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about with my catastrophizing. That's why sometimes with YouTube that'll happen or why I try not to vocalize it too much because I know not a lot of people want to hear about it. Oh my gosh, that guy missed. Can I get a kill without him killing me? No. That's the thing too is like sometimes I know that I'm being silly-ish, but am I? <laughs> you know, like that's the kind of the thinking. Like, no, but that's that's not it really how it's... How it's gonna, is, is it? Is that how it's gonna be? Literally, the world does not seem more bleak than when I'm sick. And I can't help it. And it's it's terrible. And it honestly, like, compounds on a sickness. It almost makes, probably makes things worse because mentally, I'm not feeling well on top of physically. So it's just like, I really am just weird, aren't I? So I know, like, is this just, is this just me? There's gotta be some other people out there, right? Like, you just get sick. And then it's like, I don't even remember what it feels like to be good, to be well. Will I ever be well again? How long will this last for? Is this a life? And then, like I said, just it just goes on and on. And then it eventually gets to this ridiculous end game where I'm thinking about some future that is almost entirely unlikely. But then I'm like, this is, this is it. This is my life. Really, I'm just, I, I just want to feel like I'm not the craziest person in the world. I know I'm up there, but you know, maybe there's other people. Like, like me, please. If you're out there, raise your hand right now or say something. That is why there's only going to be one video today. Thankfully, I'm happy that I'm able to get this video out today. We'll see if I'm feeling better for the rest of the day. But I woke up the same way I did yesterday, Sunday morning, when I was like, oh, cool, it's gone. Hour in, I'm like, all right, and it's all back. So I'm hoping today, nope, we're good. We're past it. And then I can get back to videos because I didn't have anything prepared, which thankfully we had the podcast ready. So I was able to get that up Control. Sunday. But I also just lost, feel very right? lonely and sad and pathetic. I am pathetic when I get sick. And I know it. I'm like a Everything big baby. And it, I, I just can't help it, man. Is that other people too? I know some people are like, put a brave face on or whatever. Good for you. That is not me. I just become one big, giant, whiny baby. Why don't whine? It's just, I'm just like, ugh, like that. Like, I just feel like everything in the world is dying and life's hopeless. So that's just kind of how I act, too. Um, yeah, super attractive, right? But anyway, that's, oh, hello. Ooh, get memento morried, bruh. That one's for Cade. That one's for you, my boy. They're all in there. Oh, Jesus, wow. Yeah, like when I'm sick, I, I hate being alone. I don't care what it is. I just need to be around somebody because it. 
uh, again, this is going to sound terrible. And we, but this is me catastrophizing. I'm like, I just don't want to die alone. I tell you, like, seriously, it's, it's bad news when I get sick. When I'm sick, you guys need to worry because I'm probably, well, so there's different kinds of sickness, though. Last week, when I just had, like, it was pretty much, it felt like the common cold, right? Like, ah, whatever. That's fine. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm, that's manageable. I'm not, like, super paranoid or anything. I can still go about my day. There's some annoyances, though, like, ah, maybe I can't record or do this or that just because of, you know, different reasons. Usually because, like, you know, I'm too nasally, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'll get over it. But when it's, like, physically feel terrible, have to lie in bed, can't do anything. The thing, too, is, I was feeling so, I, it was literally, like, Sunday, I laid around in a bed and did nothing. Not even, like, watching stuff. Because that would exacerbate everything. It was literally just like lying with my eyes shut for an entire day. Well, that doesn't help because then my mind just wanders and then it's just an endless cycle and I'm going to get sniped again. Oh my God, I'm alive. Bye, buddy. Yeah, it's just when I'm like immobilized by sickness. It's just when like, oh man, I know. And then now that I'm feeling a little bit better, you know, like I should be like, oh, but remember, this is what it feels like to be better. Well, I can't think about that at the moment. I try, but then all I can think about is how bad I feel. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I think I just... You, you guys are like my therapy session right now. You know, I, just, I just need to get this out of here. How much, how much do you guys bill? Can I forge you guys as therapists? I don't know. If, I, if each one of you are billing me, I certainly can't. That's a lot of you. Holy crap. All I can say is mental illness is fun, man. Yeah. When I'm sick and all I need is a little positivity, but my body refuses to give me any. I'm like, come on, man. Give me something. There's some, somebody to his right. This is... This is bad news. I'm hard scoping so hard right now. Oh, you're one. I didn't realize. I'm pushing. We pushed those. No Never mind. You have friends in all the right places. Uh oh, somebody popped hammers. Should I pop mine in reply? These are the questions we must ask. But no, I don't think I should. Sir, I just, I just wanted to get over there to pop my hammers. You couldn't just let me do that? I think next Destiny video, though. I'm gonna be trying out auto rifles. Screw it. We're gonna figure out which one we like. The only problem is because I don't I haven't grinded in a while. I don't have good rolls for stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just got basic stuff. So I hope that whatever turns out to be good, I, I have. Uh, doubtful. Incredibly doubtful. Oh, I don't know. I honestly though, like it's weird. I kind of feel better though. Just talking about it with you all. That does not make me feel better though. He just dabbed Bye. on me. I just want to get back to work and I like making videos. I like feeling productive. I'm a workaholic, but that's totally fine with me. I just get a lot of, a lot of, I get a lot out of feeling like I'm working towards something, being productive. Like learning coding is really nice because it's something I can do in my free time that feels productive because I'm learning. I don't know if I've talked about this too much. I might have in some of my depression videos, but I have a really hard time uh, with free time. And I know that sounds weird, but I don't know how to utilize my free time. One, sort of the depression makes it so that I I don't have a lot of interest in things or or things I would have been interested in. I have since lost interest. I don't know. It's tough. And so if it doesn't feel productive, I have a really hard time convincing myself that it's worth it. And that's really unhealthy. And it's uh, kind of a mental framing thing that I've, I've tried to work on, well, forever and still trying to work on to this day. Hopefully one day I'll solve the case, but I doubt I will. So I'm just trying to find workarounds. But like coding, that's something I can do outside of making videos and stuff where I can still feel productive and feel, not feel guilty or strange about what I'm doing. And I know to some of you who like don't have depression or anxiety or stuff, this all probably just sounds wild, dude. You're like, bruh, what are you talking about? And I know. I know, it's a problem. It's a problem. But that's just how my brain's wired. And I'm not here to try and warrant some sympathy, empathy, pity me, anything like that. Everybody's got something. This just happens to be what I am, and I deal with it the best that I can. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, for being my shrink today, for listening to me ramble on. Thank you for tuning in and leaving any comments or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.